everybody. For all of you that watched my earlier video on making my mango peach salsa, you already know that I'm gonna be making a spicy peach uh, salmon tonight. So I found really nice salmon at the store earlier. And when I marinate my salmon, I like to go ahead and put it in a bowl as tight as I can get. I don't like to put it in a long flat pan to pour marinade over because it just goes off of it and sits in the pan. I want the salmon to actually be sitting in the mixture. So I'll set this aside. I've got peach nectar. You can get this at the grocery store. It's in the juice aisle. I've got a cup of peach nectar. I've got a third of cup of brown sugar. It's packed. And I got two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm only going to use half in here, so about a tablespoon in this mixture. And what makes it spicy is my cayenne pepper. I usually put about a quarter of a teaspoon in. You might not like it spicy, you might like it more. So adjust it to your taste. I always say just adjust each one of my recipes to the flavors you might like. So we're gonna put that in there. Mix this up real well. And the reason I'm getting this all together now is because we're gonna let this sit in the refrigerator for about an hour and let the flavors marry and soak into the salmon just a little bit. So like I said, we're going to pour about three-fourths of it, of it over the salmon. We're going to reserve about a quarter cup of it. Make sure your salmon's down in. If it's not all the way in, I like to turn it over and put the skin side up well, where the skin would have been and get it pretty much down in there so it can marinate real well. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. Be back in about an hour. It's going to be real quick for you, and we'll go from there. Okay, we're back. It's been about an hour. Um, I did get in a couple times in the refrigerator and move the salmon around a little bit in the marinade so it soaked in real well, turned it over because some of it, as you can see, comes out, sticks out the top. So now what we're going to do is just take the salmon out. Be careful because sometimes it might be a little delicate, especially when you're using acidity and marinating because it'll actually start cooking the fish and breaking it down. We're gonna get all that out and put this over here. Wash my hands up a little bit. Okay, and what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you blot some of this liquid off of the salmon before you put it into the pan, or it's going to start really splashing the grease and the oil all over around you. So I like to blot it off a little bit. And this is the remainder of our olive oil that we didn't use. You're not going to need a lot if you have a non-stick skillet. Get it around a little bit. This skillet usually nothing sticks in, but I still don't like to take a chance with fish being so delicate. So take each one of these. I always go with the flesh side down. This would have been where the skin is. This is skinless, but I always go with the flesh side down first. We're going to cook it about three to four minutes. And once you have it in the pan, don't mess with it. Leave it alone. I'm going to wash my hands off. And while we were gone, I also took the remainder of the marinade that we set aside. And I took it down, thickened it. I want the syrupy consistency now. And this is what we're gonna put over the salmon after it's just about done cooking. So I'm gonna let this cook for a minute. We'll be back as soon as it gets just about ready to flip and marinate the other, or coat the other side with the marinade, and we'll be back.
Okay, we're all back. I've got the salmon, I've already turned it once, and I've just now got it on the bottom side, which would have been the skin side had it had skin. If it did have skin on it, I would have cranked this up from medium up to about medium high to get a nice crispy skin on it. But since it didn't, I just left it on medium. Now that it's just about done, it's about up to temperature, I'm gonna take our glaze. And just to remind you, the glaze is peach juice and brown sugar and cayenne pepper. The reason we didn't put this on while it was cooking the whole time is because there's so many sugars in here, the brown sugar and there's a lot in the peach nectar, it would have just burnt. You can see from right here, it's already starting to bubble up. So I like to put a little bit on there, just let it finish cooking for a minute there. And I did get out our mango peach salsa. I did the same thing I did with the um, Sam and I got in the refrigerator a couple times in the last couple hours and just mixed it up, trying to get the marinade that it's sitting in all mixed into it. And you can see it's starting to break down a lot and getting a lot more juices in it. All right, let's get the salmon out. Before all of this starts burning onto it with all the sugars. And there is a little piece I've already messed up. And once you get it out and you get it on the plate, I'll take that off the bone there, so that you can put the rest of your glaze on it and spread that out. This is going to give you the sweetness and the spiciness from the cayenne, brown sugar. And the last we don't want to forget is some of our mango peach salsa. This you can just right over the top. There you go, and there you have my spicy peach salmon.